You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited where we're at. I'm pretty pleased. Um, I mean, I think we still have a long ways to go, but I, I feel like our kids have, have prepared well and are trying to um, position themselves to, to really battle in conference. And, you know, what a tall test to be able to play Baylor right off the bat. But I think our kids are excited about it, and, and I think they've learned some lessons even in the short non-conference that we've played. Um, I think we certainly have – you know, come together as a team and, and starting to find our identity a little bit. So um, I'm excited about the opportunity and I know the girls are too. And, uh, you know, ready or not, here it comes. So um, so, so we're, we're preparing for a great game on Monday. And like I mentioned before, how much more exciting does that make it to have so many more players coming <clears throat> in and, uh, you know, seeing now their, their potential and what they've been able to do, um, even just against uh, Angelo State? Yeah, well, it certainly helps. I mean, I was glad to have a game that we could get some extended minutes for some kids, especially our freshmen. Um, I just feel like it's important to get them as many, um, you know, moments that they can maybe make some mistakes in and play through it and, and things like that. But um, we're asking them to do a lot of things for us. Um, and, and it will help to be able to have a few more numbers um, to go a little deeper in our bench, just especially so early in conference. Um, and in the season and just trying to avoid some injuries and, and wear and tear on the body. What are your thoughts overall on conference play this early in the year? <clears throat> um, it's tough. I mean, it's really tough, but we're just so glad to be playing. Um, you know, the fact that, that we have an opportunity to get better every day and, and uh, we may see somebody early right now and, and it might be a completely different story um, in January and February. So. Um, everybody's doing it. It's, it's, you know, we're just glad to be playing, and I know that's how the entire conference feels. And so it's just a matter of, um, you know, preparing the best we can and, and having more urgency maybe than you would um, in a regular season. What stands out about this year's Baylor team? S say that again. Sorry, what stands out specifically about this year's Baylor team? Oh, you know uh, how athletic they are. They're just. They're really athletic and strong, physically strong. Um, they rebound the basketball like crazy. I mean, that is definitely a point of emphasis. Um, you know, up until last night, I think they were averaging 21 rebounds a game and offensive rebounds a game. So they definitely are going to work on the on the boards, um, and that's going to be a, a, a point of emphasis for us, no doubt. Um, but, you know, I mean, having Dee Dee Richards um, just go through what she went through in the – in the, in, in, earlier in the season and in her, in her return to play, it's great to see her out there. She's such a great leader and such a great defender um, that she definitely uh, brings a different dynamic to their team. And so, um, you know, I, I think you really have to, you know, kind of key on her a little bit because she just brings them so much energy and so much um, confidence. How important is it to have a team that, that has a decent amount of people who have gone through this, even the transfers that you brought in have gone through the Big 12 and kind of know a little bit of what they're getting into? Well, I think it's important for everyone to know just the grind that it is and that every night you have to step on the floor and play extremely hard and extremely well to win in the Big 12. Um, I think it's great that we have so many kids that have done that already because they know. Um, and, and they're not um, afraid of the task either. You know, they've, they've challenged um, the highest the, the, at the highest level, um, some of the best teams, and, um, and they've been beaten by some of the best teams or, or some of the teams that are, that are you know, at the, the lower end of the conference. And I think both of those things, like, it's so um, competitive from top to bottom. It just doesn't matter, um, you know, what their record is. It doesn't matter what the history shows. Every night you have to battle, and I think that that's really important that our kids already know that. Are you someone who, pull, who pulls from your own experience a little bit, having gone through it as well, um, and having those experiences and, and ability to say, hey, look, I've been through this too. I, I, I know what we're about to go up against. Well, for sure. I mean, um, I mean, it's it's one of those things where you can be upset at the blink of an eye, you know, and, and uh, I think they maybe it gives me a little more credibility, the fact that I've been through it before and been through it at a high level. But, um, but I think those girls... Our girls are smart. You know, they're smart. They understand. They're, they're mature about 
the situation that we're in and, and they want to do well. So they're excited about coming out and playing and, um, and they know that we've got to put our best foot forward and our, our best effort every single night. It's okay. Just zoom out a little bit. Obviously, COVID era basketball, you're a few games in now. Can you talk a little bit about how you've adjusted so far and then, you know, kind of how every game can be a blessing because you never know when your team is going to be curved for two weeks of COVID and stuff like that? For sure. I think we talk about it every day. We talk about every day um, how it's a blessing that we're getting to play this game and um, that everybody has to be prepared. I mean, we can prepare for an opponent and and maybe by the time we play them, you know, they might have two kids out that we prepared for and we've just got to adjust. And the same thing can happen for us. Um, we could be preparing and, and have a starting lineup or a couple of go-to kids and we might lose one of those kids to to COVID and we have to adjust and it, it's a great opportunity for for someone else and I think we just have to keep rolling with the punches I mean it's how you respond to adversity is going to really be the team that the team that does that the best is going to be the team that's most successful this year and of course you lost the, the Vanderbilt because they had some COVID issues but I guess what are your concerns if any as far as travel goes especially during this kind of pandemic COVID um, era of life yeah, um, I think that the, the, the Big 12 and Texas Tech have done a great job in um, just this, the travel protocol, the safety protocol that we all have to go through. Um, I mean, there's been some extreme measures, you know, that we really have to check some boxes and make sure that, that lots of things are taken care of. And I just want to give a shout out to not only our administration and our, our training staff and our medical team and how they've been handling things, but also to my own staff, my support staff of Jordan Vessels and, and uh, Jared Boyd and, and just how they're managing all of the things that they have to take care of to make sure that we can do this. Um, and it's a lot, you know, it's, it's a lot. And, and to be new to the university and to our department and, and, and just having different protocols and new protocols um, that we're having to learn. I think that they have adjusted so well and they have really um, asked a lot of questions and have taken care of a lot of little details for us to be able to continue to play. So the first game, the first road game, I do hate that we didn't get to go to Vandy and have a road game uh, before we start conference play. But again, you just adjust and I'm, I'm just glad we got to play. Hey Coach, I know you were asked about post game. I was wondering if you had any, any more update on Ashlyn. Obviously, she was. I saw her respond on Twitter a little bit. It seemed like she was in high spirit. Yeah, she, you know she's doing really well. She is going to have to have surgery on her knee, um, and so we're sad about that. And um, you know, it's it just broke my heart to even watch that happen and unfold. I couldn't believe it, and, and of course, neither can she. But she's such a great kid and has such a good good spirit and a, and a, just a demeanor about her. Her teammates have really picked her up and and wrapped her in their arms. And and I'm excited that she's still going to be a, a big part of our team. And I just hate that she's having to go through this again. And then one more. Um, this has just seemed like a, it, it had been an issue just in sports in general. How do you guys manage, you know, pushing people in practice versus maybe dealing with more injury issues than you would in a normal season? Yeah, it is it is definitely an issue, and it definitely makes you have to step back as a coach and think about, you know, some of the um, things that you normally would be doing this time of year or trying to get kids into shape or, you know, just um, that the type of, um, you know, sh sh performance strengthening and things like that that we have to go through but I think that our again I think that our administration our training um, our training staff and our strength and conditioning coach Connor he's done a great job I think they all have really um, studied and and have been having us follow some protocol return to play um, those types of things that have just enabled us to try to manage these kids minutes and manage the workload that they're carrying um, because it is it, it's a lot and and for them to be in and out of conditioning or practice because of you know close contact or or quarantining or whatever it might be and then also just not having a full summer and spring to build on those um you know build up their strength and 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 and, and just muscles and and different things that they use um to be able to perform every single day at a high level. So it's been tough. It's been really tough, but I, I just think that we've done a really good job of managing it and we wanted to continue to do that. Anything else for Coach? 
that are what do you hope to I guess establish or what do you hope that the uh, your players can take away after that game on Monday? Uh, oh, W. <laughs> we we want to come away with a win. I mean, and that's what we're going into for it. You know, we're we're not going to go over there and play for um, to learn a lesson or to um, to have a, 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 a you know a win a, a moral victory. I mean, we want to go in and win. We want to go in and battle. We want to go in and play with the best, and, and we want to be the best. So um, you know, anything short of a W will be a disappointment. So we're going in there with the right mindset, and, and we're excited about the challenge and the opportunity.